after helicopters rescued hundreds of frightened passengers, today a crippled cruise liner finally returned to a Norwegian port. On Saturday, the Viking Sky sent out a mayday call during a fierce storm. Jonathan Vigliotti tells us what happened next. It was supposed to be a 12-day tour of the Northern Lights, but passengers on the Viking Sky cruise ship instead found what looked like an Arctic version of the Bermuda Triangle. 25-foot high waves tossed the luxury liner like a bath toy. Passengers and crew, nearly 1,400 of them, held on with hands and a bit of humor. <laughs> as everything on board that wasn't pinned down slid and fell apart around them. The ship hit troubled water on Saturday, about a mile off the windswept coast of Norway. The captain reported three of the four engines had failed for reasons still unknown. The only solution, to drop anchor and ride it out until help arrived. The cavalry came by helicopter. Unable to land, passengers were hoisted up by winch and brought back to shore 15 at a time, including Danny and Judith Bates from Houston, Texas. Very frightening. <laughs> Very frightening. We uh, went up on a helicopter with a sling, the two of us together, and it was quite scary. About 500 people were airlifted to safety before the ship's engines were restarted and the sea was calm enough to bring the crews to port. In all, 20 people were treated for light injuries. I felt like, you know, surely they have everything under control. It's all going to be okay. So we just chalk this up to an unexpected adventure. This unexpected adventure now over as these sea legs reached solid ground. The Viking Sky was set to dock here in London on Tuesday. The stretch of sea where it got stranded is notorious for rough weather, raising questions about why the ship was there to begin with. Elaine? All right, Jonathan, thank you.